Chances are, if you're playing the Yakuza series in this day and age, you started at zero and were gifted four unique fighting styles for each of the two playable characters, Kiryu and Majima. However, you then got hot piss dumped on you as you realized that it was the only game in the series to let you do that. But it did give you other playable characters as you got down into the games like four and five. Personally, I was never too upset by that. I really liked the main playing styles, Kiryu. But with the announcement of Yakuza... Like a Dragon Ishin, the original marketer of the four playable fighting styles, I thought to myself, hey, why not rank all the fighting styles? But not just the fighting styles, why not rank all the playable characters in this series that we've gotten up to this point? But first, we gotta lay some ground rules. Rule number one, we're not doing seven. Those aren't even fighting styles, those are just playable characters in, in them of themselves, and you only ever really play as one. Two. Haruka is not here on this list. If you wanted to go play Dance Dance Revolution, go do that at an arcade. And number three, no spinoffs. So no Judgment, Lost Judgment, the Kuryo games. Hell, even Ishin in this case is not gonna be on here. So if that's what you wanted, sorry. And like most objective opinions on the internet, it's it's fact. Simply, I'm right, and I'm better than you. It's it's an opinion. Please don't take it seriously. I'm probably fucking stupid. But without further ado, let's get fired up. You know, I just realized, I don't even know what number 20 is gonna be. Oh no, I wonder how many people clicked off the video already. It's the biggest piece of dog shit. Now let me be clear, I love this style. I think it's really cool the fact that you finally get to play as Majima's main fighting style that you've been fighting against throughout the entire series. But it's bad! You do no damage. L look, at the, look at the life bar. I'm hitting him with a full rush combo and like no damage is done. You could argue, oh well you're not using Bark's Bite. I am, it's still not doing any damage. It takes heat, it's just not a good style. There are three things I like about this style. The heat action. I like the evasiveness of the style. I like the fact that you get two dodges like Thug because Majima apparently just has no movement in any other style. I like the evasive dodge he gets if you hold down the target button and then dodge, I believe, or it's guard and dodge. And I like the fact that when he gets knocked down, you can hit uh, the attack button, he'll do like an evasive get up, which looks like it should do damage. It just doesn't. Oh yeah, and he has the strongest counter in the game, I almost forgot. This is Mad Dog's biggest saving grace in Zero because of this counter. If the counter wasn't here, this style would be infinitely worse. It does a lot of damage. You don't even need heat to do it like I'm showing you in the footage. It's just overall, that's what makes the style so good. It's that counter in my opinion. You only get one unique heat action and it takes three heat bars or just most heat in general. It seems like the style you're supposed to use that heat action, then switch back to other styles to then gain heat to do it again. Because it's basically an insta-kill if you land it. I also didn't mention Kiwami 2 Majima, because that one is somehow even worse. I don't even know how they did it, so we're not even going to show that. And that's why I put the Mad Dog style as number 20. Hold up, wait, bro, cut, cut the footage! really not gonna make a lot of friends with this list. I put Kiwami 2 Kiryu here at number 19 just because it doesn't feel right. Something about it feels off. Like it doesn't, ah, it doesn't control well. I don't know why. Something, when I go back to play Kiwami 2, I just don't feel good playing it. Like, it's not stiff, but it's not slip. It's this weird, like, middle ground of like, ugh. It does improve a lot from 6 Kiryu, you know, weapons, actual, like, counters from the Kamaki style. A lot of that's back, thankfully. 
yeah, it just doesn't feel right. And I'm ignoring the green filter whenever night exists in this game. I don't know why it happens. It just does. It just doesn't feel right. I don't know what it is. It, there's, it's nothing else. It's, ugh, it just doesn't feel right. Oh yeah, and I hate the, uh, I hate the charge mechanic. I will not lie to you. I don't like that. I much prefer how six does it. But that's number nineteen. Green M and M looking ass. All right, all right, all right. I can already hear you guys going, Oh, man, he put Yakuza 3 series here because he doesn't know how to play the game with just spam the attack button and doesn't try to figure out how to do blocking. No, that's actually not why I put this here. I'm actually all right with the block. I know I'm bad at video games. I'm going to deal with it however I can. It, is the blocking annoying? Yeah. Will you see any of it in the footage? No, because it's not against bosses. My problem is the lack of damage you do. Specifically against bosses. Let me show you what I mean. Now maybe this is a bad example, but let's look at the original Yakuza 2 and compare heat action damage from that one to 3. Get up, let him get up, let him get up, let him get up. Let him get up. Fight back, nigga! Fight back, nigga! Fight back! Fight back! Fight back. Ah. Wow! That was a lot of damage, right? Now let's look at Yakuza 3. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? Now look, maybe this is just an issue with the remaster and the original Yakuza 3 on PS3 doesn't have this issue. But if not, then what the fuck happened? How do you go from one heat action taking away almost three whole life bars to then not even taking away a quarter of a health bar? That doesn't make sense. There's no consistency. They're both mashing attacks. Granted, one may have been done at lower health, so it got that damage buff, but clearly that wasn't a significant enough of a buff. I don't know what happened there. That's my biggest issue with this style. It's just no damage. That's why it's number 18. So, Rush is kind of whatever. I don't hate it. I just don't use it. It's my l probably least used style in the series. Not because of its lack of damage. I think it actually does pretty good damage. My issue is the fact that with Yakuza Zero's unique heat mechanic where the less heat you have, the slower you are, this style is fucking useless. You can't use it. All the bobbing and weaving in the world cannot save this style if I can't stun lock and hit people. I literally can't do anything. Sure, it's got some good heat actions like the wall mechanic or the counter or even the parrying of itself. But when I can't hit somebody or I'm just slower than beast sometimes it feels like with no heat, that's not a good thing. Look at right now. Look, look at this. I don't hate this style, but it feels like a supplement style, like I'm just supposed to use it to dodge out of the way and switch to another style. And if that's the point of it, well fine, that's the point of it. But that's boring. I don't want to use a style just to dodge. I want to be able to effectively use it. But hey, maybe I just suck. That's why it's at 17. Yakuza 4 Saijima is weird for me because I'm really torn because I like his playstyle. Big hulking man gets to use big hulking weapons. I love that. But he's so goddamn slow. A lot of it, one of his coolest heat actions is yanking you by your leg, throwing you in the air, and slamming your back. However, the issue is that it's kind of hard to land that move because only like one attack, I think, even launches them high enough to trigger that. And it's the charge mechanic, which is kind of finicky because sometimes it'll come out properly and other times you'll just get hit mid-animation, which stops it completely. You could argue, oh, we'll just get her purely in spirit. Okay, that's real good advice when all of Saijima's chapter 
is dedicated to literally not getting to upgrade him. Like, at all. Good luck with that, buddy. And he gets some of the most annoying fucking segments in this entire series. The prison segment, the fucking Minami segment where you have to fight not only him, but all of his little goons, and I have never gotten grabbed more, except maybe in five for some reason. And I don't even want to talk about the Majima fight, because for some ungodly reason, he just, when he Beyblades, he doesn't stop. Like, if I, I blocked it with a bat once, he didn't, like, bounce off of me like he did every other time. He just kept spinning on me, and I instantly died. I'm like, what the fuck? It's bullshit. That's why he's 16. Now, Slugger is an interesting style, as it's basically the Weapon Master style. You get to use bats, katanas, nunchucks, and it's the class where you unlock the ability to not lower your durability of a weapon, the lower your heat gauges. My main issue with this class is that if you don't have heat, you're gonna bonk on all the walls. Now, that's not necessarily a big issue late in the game, but in the early game, ah. Uh... Also, can I ask you a question? Did you ever use this, like, legitimately against a boss? Because I never did. Ever. I maybe used a heat action or two, which I will admit, the two heat actions it does get that are unique are really the reason why it's above everything else. Those heat actions are amazing. <laughs> My argument of no heat you bonk on walls is actually negated in this style because it is an amazing heat generator, specifically when you do the bat nunchuck combo. It's an amazing way to generate heat. But I've heard some people say that this is a really good crowd clearing style. What? What were you smoking to ever think that? Majima already has a really good crowd clearing style. It's Breaker. It's infinitely better, in every possible way. That's why this is 15. Don't ever say stupid shit like that again. Two reasons as to why I don't like this version of Dragon of Doji. One, the heat system. It's always the heat system. This style is fucking useless without heat. It's the same case as Rush. I just think Dragon of Doji plays better than Rush. You are slow as shit if you don't have third gear, which is the gear you always want to be in, but you're so strong with heat actions in this style. Look at him. Now, yes, it is unfortunate that there are only, technically speaking, two unique heat actions in this style. But it's also made up for by the unique special moves you get to use, because this is pre-Komaki training. So instead of the Komaki parry, you'll get the Komaki twist, which everybody abuses. You'll get the shoulder, the knee bash, I think it, I think it is, where you have to guard in second or third heat. That one's actually really good, underrated in my opinion. And then you have the really shitty shoulder bash, which takes away all your heat. I have never missed a counter more in my life. That one just doesn't work properly. Though, fun little fact, if you land that on an enemy and it finishes the uh, the fight, you'll keep all your heat. It's one of the reasons why it's rank 14. Mr. B! Come here!
That's why Beast is ranked 13. Moving on! Shinada at number 12 for me is interesting because I don't know how I feel. It's really wishy-washy. At one point, I'm like, yeah, I love his fighting style, but then I realize, God damn, he's like the slowest out of everybody and he can't really hit people consistently because he takes such long swings. But he's a grappler. Who doesn't love a grappler? Everything sets up into everything and that's awesome. He can rush combo into a grab, a heat action into a grab. He, he's just a setup monster. But clearly, that's not why you play Shinada. You play him for the weapons. He is a weapon God, just don't let him pick up a baseball bat. But honestly, his saving grace for like getting this high on the list is his weapon heat actions. Just look at him. The fact that Majima didn't get like half of those heat actions, yeah, he got some unique weapon heat actions, but he didn't get that katana one is bullshit. And that's why Shinada gets the rank 12 spot. <laughs> All right, let's just get one thing out of the way. Akiyama and Yakuza 5 compared to four is definitely a downgrade. He lost his wall bounding, is not as consistent. He's still a good character, it's just not the Akiyama that you knew. And we don't talk about the wall heat action, because, uh... It's about 15 seconds. That's really long. But you know what isn't long enough? His goddamn theme. Affected fight? Oh my god. When that beat drops? Oh! If this theme alone doesn't convince you he's number 11, I don't know what will. I really don't. Remember that issue I had talked about with Kiryu and Yakuza 3? Well, they rectified that in 4. He actually does good damage now. In fact, everybody does. There's not even really much to say about Yakuza 4 Kiryu. He's probably the most balanced out of all of the versions of Kiryu we have seen so far. Obviously, if I'm wrong, go ahead and tell me. Uh, I won't listen. This segment's too short, so I'm gonna put some funny sound effects over heat action. Here you go. You sent me a message first, yeah? I live in Smevic, Birmingham. If you want the fucking brawl, what the fuck? What the fuck? Man, what the fuck that- Hold on, bro! I think you got a nut! Nut!
I knew bald people were superior when I learned that my father was bald. Saejima must have taken notes because he is infinitely better than he was in 4. Instead of throwing people and having them bounce like a normal person, he picks them up and bounces them 10 feet in the fucking air, grabs them by their leg, and swings them around and throws them like 4 feet. Dude was taking his Flintstone Vita gummies, he's slinging them around like they're putty. It's incredible. If you want to talk about stupid, let's talk about Herculean spirit. Half heat, you're invincible. Doesn't matter. You can't lose. Oh man, but Saishima's got the least amount of heat bars in this. Who fucking cares if you don't take damage and flinch when you get hit? And whoever decided to give this man a counter that not only does a shit ton of damage, but stuns? Tongue kiss me right now. Don't start with the gay shit today, nigga. Relax. Everyone sound the alarms, the proverbial Cheerios have been pissed in because somebody fucked up Kiryu cereal. I have never seen this man more mad in my life in a gameplay aspect. Duke can hit, you hit a button, invincibility, pure invincibility. None of his bounding throws require heat, none of his double finishers require heat. He is the meanest and roughest he has ever been, both in combat and heat action. I don't even need to explain myself. Just look at the gameplay. See what I mean? Dude's never been this pissed off before. Gameplay wise, anyways. Story wise? Wow. Oh, I'm sorry, did you say something? I can't hear you over this fucking banger of a soundtrack. Suck it, Kiwami 2. Woo! I don't know what happened between Yakuza 6 and Kiwami 2, but something about 6 just controls so much better. Oh, did I mention it looked better? Oh, did I mention the fucking soundtrack? Woo! You know, for something so limited, I feel like I have so much more control! I am literally on top of the world! Wait, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, shit! Yeah, Brawler is Kiryu's best eye on Zero. It kind of just does everything. Good counters, decent mobility, a plethora of heat actions. It's fast regardless of the heat style. I really have no complaints about it. It's just overall really good. Goofy heat actions, here you go. Yeah, overall, pretty good style. Do I really even have to explain myself? Oh, I, I do? Hey, Tom! Hey, show him the clip of Majima grabbing the sword with his teeth. Yeah, yeah, that one. Thanks. Seriously, this style speaks for itself. Just watch the footage. You break dance. Look at him. He almost puts Miracle Johnson to shame with those moves. Oh, 
time. Remember when I got upset when people said that Slugger was a better crowd clearer than Breaker? Yeah, this is why I thought they were fucking lying. They literally can't touch you if you just do that one move. Now I can probably hear you asking, Smokey, why is this not above the other Majima style? It's clearly better. Well, viewer, I am not a baby. I am in fact a man, and I know what a man's style looks like. Now, 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 calm down, calm down, put the pitchforks down. Somebody has to be devil's advocate, or in this case, God's right hand angel. Because I already know I'm right in this case. Come on, be real here. This is easily the superior style. Multiple dodges, good counters, good heat actions. This is mad dog if you didn't have to wield a weapon. That's literally what the style is, and everything about it is better. I'm sorry to all you glue sniffers and sandpaper smellers out there, but somebody had to prove you wrong. And, you know, Thugs got more heat action, so, uh, yeah. This is hands down the best on Yakuza 0, don't at me, I'm not arguing. You know, the theme of Akiyama in 4 is called Speed Star, which is very ironic because a developer must have been on speed to make this character. Never have I seen better combos in my life. The wall bounds, the heat actions, the personality. This is the sexiest man I've ever seen in my life. But that's besides the point. Akiyama is the first person you play as in Yakuza 4. And honestly, I don't think they could have picked a better person besides Kiryu himself. He's fast, outright mobility. He has taunts. He can taunt. It's amazing. Seriously, if you don't have a fun time playing this character, you're dead and you need some speed to wake up. See what I mean when you say you can't have a bad time playing this character? Wait, what is he gonna do? Oh, oh my god. Oh, alright, alright, cut the footage, cut the footage, cut, cut the, cut the-
let's be real. You guys already saw that joke coming. However, you did not see the number one spot coming. Nobody did. Not even myself when I made this. Are you ready for the number one spot? You're not. If you said you were, you're not. If you've been paying attention, you already know who this is. And you either hate me or love me. Don't do that second one. I'm gonna be honest, I was just as surprised as you guys are. When I was making this list, I kept going through and I'm like, man, I really like playing as Tiny Mora. I don't know what happened. I remember when I first started playing as him, I was like, dude, he fucking sucks. But then I realized, oh, you're supposed to actually upgrade him because all of his rush combos lead into he actions that do actually really good damage. And his parry, Dude, if you just guard, you live. You can't die. His grab... This was in an era where grabs gave you invincibility throughout the animation. And Tiny Mora has, like, the longest grab ever. So if you just grab somebody and then throw them, invulnerability frames for days. This character is fun, unique, creative. And don't even get me started on that theme. Actual cocaine in the system when they were making this song. I apologize for the long showcase. I just really love his heat actions. They're all so unique and you can't even arrest people. I don't know, he's just so much fun. I feel like he gets better the more you learn how to play the game. Which is why I put Tiny Mora at the number one spot of my favorite Yakuza character to play as slash the playstyles. Well, we got another long video under our belts. If you'd stay through the whole thing, I truly do appreciate it. You would not believe how much it means to me if you're listening to my voice right now. Consider subscribing, maybe? Liking the video? Hell, even just sharing it. Any of that would be appreciated. Regardless, I hope you have a great day. Peace out.